So the tricky part here is the fact that we have a substitution which we need to um, ascertain ourselves. Now what I'm going to choose is u is equal to the square root of x plus 2 because that's the tricky part of the question. And whenever I have a substitution which involves a square root, my top tip is to square both sides of that substitution. So I'll get u squared is equal to x plus 2 and then differentiate implicitly. So to differentiate implicitly, I would like to differentiate u squared with respect to x. But that's a bit tricky because we don't have any x's in our expression. We want to differentiate. And what would be more helpful is if I could differentiate u squared with respect to u. But I want to make these two things equal, so I need to multiply it by du over dx in order to get that cancellation there and have exactly what is on the left-hand side. So if differentiating u squared with respect to u is going to give me 2u, I then need to multiply that by du by dx. And that's the left side differentiated. And the right side, well, x differentiates to 1 and 2 differentiates to 0. Multiplying both sides by dx is going to give me that 2u du is equal to dx. Next step is I need to adjust my limits because prior I had x is equal to 2 and 0 and now I need to work out what the u values are. Well, the u values are the square root of x plus 2. So the square root of 2 plus 2 is 2 and the square root of um, 0 plus 2 is the square root of 2. And now I'm ready to do my substitution. So I rewrite my integral as the integral from 2 to root 2. Uh, 2x is 2 lots of, and x looking here is u squared minus 2. And root x plus 2 is just u, so multiplied by u. And then finally, dx is 2u du. Okay, let's simplify that. And we have a 4, because we've got a 2 and a 2. We have a u, and a u outside is a u squared. And then we've got this bracket, which is u squared minus 2. And we can simplify that further to get 4u to the 4 minus 4u, sorry, 8u squared. Okay, now to time to integrate. So we up the power, divide by the new power. So upping the power to 5 and then dividing through by 5 will give me 4 fifths u to the 5. Upping the power by um, 1 to make 3 is going to give me 8 over 3 because we divide through by that and that is going to give me cubed and that is between 2 and root 2. So substituting in, uh, 2 to the 5 is 32 times by 4 fifths is 128 over 5. Uh, 2 to the 3 is 8 times by 8 is 64 then divide by 3 is 64 over 3. We subtract the second bracket. Uh, root 2 to the power 5 is going to be 4 root 2 times by 4 is 16 and over 5, so it's 16 over 5 root 2. And two, root 2 to the 3 is 2 root 2 times by 8 is going to be 16 and that's over 3 this time root 2. And then we can evaluate each bracket separately. So this first one is uh, numerical and that will give me uh, 64 over 15. Um, this next one involves thirds, so I'll do that one separately. There's a minus sign between them, and this is going to give me negative 32 over 15 root 2. And then we can take out a 32 over 15, and our first term will give me 2, and that's a plus 2 negatives, and that's going to give me root 2. And we have completed the question. I hope you found that useful and if you did please like the video that would be great and do subscribe for more content and let me know in the comments what you'd like me to do next, what topic, what particular question, any 
comments are welcome. Bye for now.